In this third example of a hidden quadratic, we've got something that looks a little bit more complicated because we've got this 5 to the 2x plus 1 in this case. So you've got to be confident with what that means. So if I do it over here, we've got 5 to the 2x plus 1. Now what does that mean? That means, because I've got an addition of indices, that it's actually the same as multiplying 5 to the 2x by 5 to the 1. And then, because I know that 5 to the 2x is 5 to the x squared, this is the same as 5 to the x all squared times 5. And if I just reorder that, then I've got 5 times 5 to the x squared. Take away 26 times 5 to the x plus 5 is 0. So it's just that 5 to the 2x plus 1 has become this. So that is my manipulation of indices to get it to that point. Now I'm going to make the substitution as we have in the previous examples. So y equals 5 to the x in this case. So I've got 5 lots of 5 to the x all squared, so 5 lots of y squared. Take away 26y plus 5 is 0. Okay? So this can be factorised. So we've got 5y and then y. We're going to have to have a minus 5 there and a minus 1 there in order to get a minus 25y, take away another y. And minus 1 times minus 5 makes the five, plus 5. So we have, if I put the y's back in as 5 to the x, 5 times 5 to the x minus 1 times 5 to the x minus 5 equals 0. So that means that either 5 times 5 to the x minus 1 is 0, or 5 to the x minus 5 is 0. Now if I rearrange this, I add 1 to both sides and divide both sides by 5, that means that 5 to the x must be 1 over 5, which is 5 to the minus 1. I'll, I'll write that step in in a moment. Uh, I'll just keep it as 1 to the fifth. One fifth. On the right hand side, I've got 5 to the x is equal to 5. So as I hinted, x must be minus 1, because 5 to the minus 1 is 1 over 5, or x must be 1, 5 to the 1 is 5. So plus or minus 1 are the solutions to the original problem. Okay, So there's a little bit more involvement in sorting out the indices here into the required format and then we have this negative index down here that we need to deal with but you could have uh, fractional indices or negative indices in this so don't be surprised if the problem looks slightly different